Hi, my name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. All right guys, the nice weather's finally hit us. Uh, so we're gonna kick off with a nice prowler Really cool roadster car, convertible top is down. Some of you are fortunate enough, you live in nice weather all year round. For us here in Illinois, it's just getting started again. Uh, so we're gonna kick it off with the Prowler. Today we are looking at a 2001 Chrysler Prowler. This is the Mulholland edition. It's one of only 1,281 examples built uh, in this colorway for this year and for that edition. Uh, this particular one has just under 7,300 original miles on it. Uh, it's in really great shape, inside and out, top to bottom. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Now guys, if you've been enjoying our videos, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll get notified every time a new one gets posted. You don't wanna miss out. We got a lot of cool cars coming in and out of here. Uh, they, they leave as soon as, just as quick as they get in. So you wanna be one of the first to see it so you don't miss out. For the full write-up description and photo shoot, you can visit volocars.com. Uh, you can take a look at the in-close uh, pictures of the engine bay, uh, close-up details of anything you're looking for, the undercarriage, inside, outside, whatever you want. It's on volocars.com. Uh, we have a couple hundred, both modern muscle and classic cars. They're all for sale, so make sure you check it out. Uh, but let's take a look further into this Prowler. <clears throat> so it's named after the legendary Mulholland Drive in California. Uh, this is a stage two, I think I believe it's midnight blue paint, they call it. Uh, it's finished with a Dr. Rue hand-painted pinstripe along the entire upper edge of the outer body. Uh, he did every single one of those 1,281 that were built. Uh, so that's exclusive to this car. The body is overall in really great shape, guys. Uh, the paint shines really nicely. You know, there's a couple swirl marks here and there on it, uh, but nothing too serious. I did notice the front uh, lower bumper nose cover did get repainted, probably from some stone chips it looks like, but nothing's, it's never been wrecked or in any accidents, anything like that. Um, all the plastic's in really nice shape. There's no fading on it. The plastic bumper here, it's not faded at all or cloudy. Um, the wheels and tires are in fantastic shape. We got some 20 inch chrome uh, plated faces in the, in the front, 17 inch, or sorry, in the rear, 17 inch in the front. Uh, they're wrapped in a Continental Extreme Contact tire uh, with really great tread left on them. They are all season tire. So in case you get caught out in the rain, it's still gonna handle nicely. I love the way they designed these roadsters. Uh, they, they didn't take off, they weren't the biggest hit back in 2000, but they definitely made a strong comeback. Uh, they're retaining their value real nicely and they're becoming collectible. Uh, this one has the front bumper deletes on it. Uh, so we have the chrome bezels with the fog lights or the turn signals instead. Uh, so you can see the exposed upper and lower control arms in the front. And everything, guys, there's no pitting on it. There's no rust or surface haze or anything like that. So it's very clean. I believe this car came from Tennessee. So it was in Tennessee all its life. The headlights are in really great shape. Uh, the chrome front grille is in really nice shape. There's no peeling or anything like that on it. <clears throat> uh, all the weather seals and the door trim, it's all soft. It's really nice. Uh, I did notice there is a little oxidation on the third above the... Uh, rear third tail light right there. Uh, but maybe a little buff and polish will bring it out. If anything, it might just need to be scuffed and re-cleared. No big deal, very minor on it. Uh, it does have this aftermarket aluminum sill plate uh, put down where the convertible top goes. That way it doesn't damage the paint on the trunk. <clears throat> Underneath the car, it's fairly clean. Uh, we have a dual chrome polished exhaust uh, with the chrome tail, tailpipes coming all the way out. They kind of remind me of those bonsai pipes, uh, but they don't stick out too far. This one does not have the hitch on it. Um, these did were optioned with a rear hitch and the 
matching cart that you could pull behind it. This one does not have that on there. Um, everything else is exposed. You got four wheel independent suspension. We have some nice uh, disc brakes front and rear. Uh, the rotors and pads are in really great shape. We take this thing out a little later. We go for a cruise in it. Uh, it does 60 like a dream. There's no shakes anywhere in the steering. It drives smooth over bumps. Uh, it's in, again, really fantastic shape, uh, cosmetically and mechanically. Well, let's take a look at the interior. All right, guys, so coming into the interior, it is black on black. Uh, the leather is black as well. Uh, everything's in fantastic shape. Again, only 70, just under 7,300 original miles. Uh, it has power windows, power locks, power mirrors. I uh, love the Roadster style look they give the dash there. Uh, really try to attribute it to like an old school style. They put that big aftermarket style tachometer uh, on the steering wheel there. And then you have your speedometer and gauges right in the center. Uh, the center bezel is painted in that midnight blue as well. So it matches the exterior of the car. Uh, coming down, we do have AM FM radio uh, with a cassette player. So 2001 gave you a, a cassette player. Uh, this thing has the climate control as well. It even has air conditioning. I don't know how much you'd be using it, but it has it if you want it. Uh, the four speed auto stick uh, shifter is in the center there. Uh, so you can, it's four speed auto, but you can put it in uh, a semi-manual mode so you can shift it up and down through the gears. Uh, you have a little cup holder as well and some cargo nuts. Uh, coming to the seats, they're in fantastic shape. The leather's still soft on them. Uh, they're in really great shape. So there's no cracking or brittleness on them at all. The trunk, it's not much of a trunk, uh, but there's a little button here to release it. Pops up, like I said, not much space in here guys, but it is carpeted, it is in fantastic shape. Uh, you could throw some Overnight clothes in here if need be. Uh, that way you can stop in between your road trip at a hotel. Uh, the top is in a nice navy blue color. The top itself is in fantastic shape. Uh, there's no rips or tears or anything like that on it. It's not faded. Uh, they do have a real glass rear window in it. Uh, and it is. it does have a defrost setting on it. So you can unfog it if need be. So that folds in nice and neat there. Now they did make those little trailers that you can pull behind these. This one does not have that. Uh, I have seen them out and about. If you are looking for one, uh, they are out there available for sale second hand. Now coming to the engine bay, we have that three five liter six cylinder uh, pushing 253 horsepower, and it may not seem like a lot, guys, but I think it's just enough for this car. It definitely uh, gives it some power. Uh, everything's very clean, in great shape. I love how it's exposed. You can see right down to the chassis and the suspension components. The battery's right in front. Looks like that was replaced a couple years ago. Uh, so that's relatively new as well. Again, everything's in really, really great shape. We're going to take it for a spin to show you how much fun this car is. Everything works to the best of our knowledge on here. Perfect day for a cruise. <laughs>
really nicely. as much fun as I just did. And that's a wrap. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that just as much as I did. Uh, that was my impression on this 2001 Mulholland Edition Chrysler Prowler. Again, it's in really fantastic shape inside and out. Uh, and this thing's just a really fun cruiser, and it has some pickup, even though it's the the six cylinder. Don't let that fool you. This thing will move. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing this car, you can visit volocars.com. If you click the buy it now button on the, on the Prowler's page, uh, it'll secure a refundable deposit on the car. It'll shoot us an email. Uh, we can help set up financing if need be. I can get this thing shipped right to your driveway. Uh, very easy as well. Or you can give us a call, ask for me, Caleb. I can talk to you more about the car uh, and I can help you set up financing or shipping that way as well. Uh, but thanks for checking this car out. Make sure you stick around for the rest of them.